Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find inverse Laplace transform for these functions. So let's proceed for first function. So here we have to take L inverse of this S plus 3 upon S square 6X plus 13, right? Now here we can check that in denominator here we have quadratic factor S square 6X plus 13, right? And we know all basic inverse Laplace transform formulas in which here we have this is yes if we have this first formula s square plus a upon s square plus a square right. Now we can check that here we have this perfect square right. Yes in all these formulas here we have perfect square right. That means we have to try to write down this quadratic factor in perfect square right. That means here we have to adjust third term right to make this quadratic factor as a perfect square and we know how to calculate third term. Yes for making perfect square we know that we can calculate third term by using this formula. Yes here we have this is 1 by 2 into coefficient of this s this is here we have 6 and its square so here we have this is 3 square that is 9 right that means here we have to adjust this 9 here so this is in denominator here we have s square 6x plus 9 and this is minus 9 plus 13 as it is right we have adjust this is plus 9 minus 9 here by using this formula right now here next we have this is L inverse of S plus 3 now we can check that this is now perfect square of this S plus 3 its square and on simplification this is here we have this 4 right yes this is L inverse of now yes here in numerator we have s plus 3 and denominator we have also s plus 3 it square that means now we can apply first shifting property first shifting property of inverse laplace transform so what is here first shifting property yes here we have to take this plus 3 outside so here we have this is minus 3t yes we have to take this plus 3 outside for this here we have to write down e raised to minus 3t right and L inverse of remaining this is s upon s square plus 4 we can write this is as a 2 square right and what is this yes this is e raised to minus 3t and L inverse of this what is this this is s upon right that means this is cos of twice t. So this is the required inverse Laplace transform for this function right. What we have done here in denominator we have make this quadratic factor as a perfect square right. For this we have adjust this term and we know how to calculate this term by using yes this is third term this is for perfect square right yes for perfect square we have formula if we have this is x square this is bx plus c this polynomial if we have this is so third term is calculated by using this formula this is 1 by 2 into coefficient of this x and this is complete square so by using this we have adjust this one here and now this is ready for applying for shifting property. So yes we got this required inverse Laplace transform. Now in the same manner we have to find inverse Laplace transform for the second function. So yes here we have taking L inverse of this function here we have this is 3s plus 2 upon this is 2s square minus 4s plus 3 right. So now yes again here we can check that in denominator here we have quadratic factor right so what we have to do yes for making perfect square this coefficient of this s square should be 1 so for this we have to take this 1 by 2 outside when we take 1 by 2 common from this one 
here we have in denominator here we have this is s square and here we have this 4 by 2 that means here we have twice s and this is 3 by 2 right now we have to make perfect square for this quadratic factor now we can guess here yes what should be the third term yes which term we have to adjust here to make this quadratic as a perfect square yes this is plus 1 and minus 1 right and this is 3 by 2 this is as it is right yes how we have got this is yes we can check that this is a perfect square of this s minus 1 its square right and how we have calculated this is 1 here yes by formula we can also say that third term this is 1 by 2 into coefficient of this s this is here minus 2 right so on simplification this 2 to get cancelled so here we have minus 1 it square that means we have to adjust here 1 for adjusting 1 here we have this subtract minus 1 right so now here we have perfect square in denominator so this is the square of s minus 1 it square right and this minus 1 plus 3 by 2 yes what is this this is 1 by 2 yes yes we have now in denominator in this Laplace yes here we have s minus 1 factor and yes this for applying first shifting property this s should be yes in numerator this s should be of s minus 1 so that means here we have to adjust s minus 1 here so when we adjust here this is s minus 1 yes in denominator right so here we have adjust this is minus 3 that means we have to add here plus 3 right and this is 2 as it is right this is we have done for applying for shifting property yes yes this is here we have thrice s right we want s minus 1 so here we have write down s minus 1 so when we simplify we get this is here right yes now we can do the simplification of this is so here we have 3 s minus 1 this is 3 plus 2 5 here we have right and this is s minus 1 its square now we can write this is as a 1 by root 2 its square to apply formulas right yes now it's ready for applying for shifting property right so here we have yes this is 1 by 2 yes by first shifting property we have to take this minus 1 outside so for this is here we have to write down e raise to t and remaining here we have this is 3s plus 5u and same here this is s square plus 1 by root 2 it square yes we have write down this is s minus 1 this is as this is we have apply here first shifting property of inverse laplace transform right yes now now we have to find l inverse of this is now we can check that here again we can separate this operator to this here so here we have l inverse of this is 3s upon this is s square 1 by root 2 it square plus this is l inverse of this is 5 upon s square plus 1 by root 2 it square yes right this is we have done so that we can apply formulas right we have done the simplification here so now here next we have we have taken this is constant outside 
of this operator L inverse, right? Now, yes, what is this? This is here we have L inverse of S upon, right? That means this is cos of 1 by root 2 T, right? And next this is here plus phi u. Here we have 1 upon, that means this is L inverse of sine, right? So here we have to write this is 1 upon A. A is here 1 by root 2, right? 1 by root 2 into sine of a t a is here 1 by root 2 this is t here yes we have applied this formula n inverse of this is 1 upon s square plus a square this is 1 upon a sine of a t right yes now on simplification yes we can do the simplification here so here we have 1 by 2 this is e raised to this is t here this is 3 into cos of 1 by root 2 t yes plus phi u this root 2 get in denominator numerator and this is sine of 1 by root 2 t yes this is yes required inverse Laplace transform yes we can check that here what is we have done here yes we have to find L inverse of this is yes here we have quadratic factor so we have make this quadratic factor as a perfect square by adjusting term now we have adjust this s minus 1 in numerator right then we have apply first shifting property yes here we have s minus 1 so here we have taken this minus 1 outside so here we have this is e raised to t right yes and he, yes here we have this is correction here we have e raised to t right yes and this is the required inverse laplace transform for this given function so in this way we have to proceed for finding inverse laplace transform so yes, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.